installing a starter on my 99 gram Marquise. This thing looks small and it's a very light. We will see. So I'm gonna be lifting up the uh, car. Always put your uh, chalk in place. Lift it up, I'm gonna be using two axle stands. So the other axle stand will be on this side of the car. And hey, there it is, awesome. So let's get started. Installing the starter or working on the alternator, always make sure to disconnect your battery. So, not that that matters, but the battery is fully disconnected. So, this is where the starter is, and I do, in fact, have the right starter. I'm just saying what size it was, and this is the correct size. This is my rebuilt transmission, and then my dual exhaust with my Flowmasters with the H pipe. I like my stainless steel hardware as you can see. But yeah, so we're gonna be replacing this guy. So it should be two or three bolts. And it comes out, I'm gonna do it with hand tools and whatnot. So it'll be, uh, I'll be doing that. I'll show you in between all the steps. And then away we go. So it is in fact three bolts. That's the alignment pin. And then you have four wires hook up, the signal, and then the main power. And then we'll be able to test this thing. So give me half an hour. identical obviously uh, oh there it is okay yep now it's identical it's only two wires because obviously this grounds to the vehicle power signal that turns the uh, solenoid over to the main power completes the circuit motor turns and then the other motor turns and the vehicle starts and then uh, you turn it up, to, um, relinquish a little bit on the key, and then this turns off, which then turns this off, and then the motor runs on its own. Yay, that's how a starter works. So, time to throw these in here. The interesting thing to this is there's only two bolts installed, not the original three. As you can see, this is clean, that's clean, this one's dirty. So is that original? Probably not. I, like, I got this car at around, just under 50,000 kilometers. So if I had a starter replaced before that, and or in the factory it was ever installed, I'd probably go with that one. So, time to throw this baby in. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight in a second. You guys can see what's going on up in here. So that gear that you saw there, hits this piece right here. I can zoom in there. And that'll be, I forget, it's the main gear. I forget what it's called now, flywheel maybe? I don't know. I got hit in the head. So this is your inspection cover for the transmission. And uh, you take this off, you'll see you have the bolts to undo it from the torque converter. So that'll be a flywheel. And uh, again, like I said, three bolts, but only two were installed. And you have your uh, power coming from the battery. Sorry, the power, yeah, power coming from the battery. This is from the switch. I'll clean these terminals up, obviously. And uh, it's grounded to the vehicle, so. Let's get this thing jammed in here and get this engine roaring. clean the terminals and um, she's fastened in there the bolts are all uh, have all everything has anti seize on it so she's good to be tested so let's uh, get out of here and uh, check it out see if it uh, actually works
the good news is the starter works. I'm gonna figure out what else I can do to get this thing running. So if the vehicle does not start currently, I'm just gonna disconnect the battery and move on to other things because I did want to work on the brake system today, get that operational. Not that it's gonna matter too much, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a letdown. So I'm assuming it has something to do with the fuel pump. Um, again, I really wanted to get this thing going today, so this is a bit of a, a downer, but she's installed, so. So far, and you know what, it's good enough, it works. Just have to get that vroom vroom going. Probably a fuel issue. So that means I'll be uh, looking at the fuel pump and or checking for fuel pressure.